Hey Saints, Pastor Michael Anderson here. Welcome to Transition Tuesday. I don't always remember my baptism, but when I do, I love to do it at the baptismal font in the sanctuary here at Christ Our Savior Lutheran Church, where I have the opportunity to remember that I am a beloved child of God. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video today. So today is the last day before the season of Lent begins. We might even call it Shrove Tuesday, perhaps, that you've, perhaps you've heard that before. And it seems to me that um, there might be something for us to hear, there might be a good word for us to hear uh, on this Shrove Tuesday uh, about this change in church seasons that maybe is a uh, change in liturgical seasons that maybe actually connects a little bit to, to what's going on in the life of the faith community here at Christ our Savior right now as you all walk through the call process and you guys walk through transition. Um, the season of Epiphany, we might say, we might really, really simplify things, and we might say the season of Epiphany is about life-changing encounter, all right? Life-changing encounter. People who are having encounters with Christ and the ministry that he has, and having that affect them so deeply that it calls them to new life. Lent, we might say, is folks having the awareness that once they've been called to new life, um, I think there's an awareness of that there, there, there's a depth to that challenge that really is endless. We are always called to some version of new life because the love of God always keeps calling us forward into a new future that we actually might, we might not feel that we're prepared for. But that's how it goes. We encounter Christ. The power of that encounter is, is, is so strong that it invites us to become new people. And, and in, um, the messaging that we received during Lent is, a, is about truly about grappling with what that means for us. Maybe it's fair to say that the, that the moment that Christ our Savior walks through uh, as a congregation right now is, is in the same vein of this tension between Epiphany and Lent. Maybe that works. Maybe that works by way of analogy. Um, I think it does fit a little bit. Um, the experience of the congregation right now, for sure, of, of course, is engagement in the midst of transition, hearing, uh, hearing the voice of Jesus, hearing the gospel proclaimed, and asking itself the question, in light of this, who are we, right? But of course, when you ask the question, who are we in light of how we hear the gospel, of course, our response is, or the way that we respond, is, is a little bit on that, that Lent side of things, which is, to, which is to say, how we respond to Christ's love always takes us to a deeper place, always takes us to a more challenging place. Sometimes it might even feel a little bit lonely. Sometimes it might even feel a little bit lonely. But I want you to know, church, that no matter what season that you walk through, we are so blessed and fortunate to know that God, in the person of Christ, walks there with us. There's no part of uh, anything that we experience where God is not with us, God is not present with us, calling us forward to a future that we probably couldn't even imagine for ourselves. So on this Transition Tuesday, this Shrove Tuesday, I simply want to commend to you um, the reminder of God's promise that no matter what it is that you're walking through, no matter what encounter you all are having either individually or as a congregation, no matter what encounter you are having, um, in the midst of that, God is wholly present with you, uh, offering sustenance for you, offering mercy for you, offering love for you, in order that you might be seen into a new expression of life. So, Thank you for taking time to be with me on this Transition Tuesday. God bless you uh, 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 as we stand on the threshold of Lent, uh, and God bless Christ our Savior as it seeks to live into a new expression of faithfulness um, to the glory of God.